Michael, thanks for joining us. Um, wonderful performance as well as a wonderful result. Go and uh, tell us how it was to play in that game. Yeah, um, obviously it was important to get the three points. Um, we knew how big a game it was. Um, I thought the boys battled, especially the first half. Got a couple of goals in front. Uh, obviously we know how difficult it is when they go down to ten men. We've seen first time when we also played at Airdrie and managed to come back. So we knew it was going to be difficult second half as well. But I thought the boys done great. But as I say, this is one game. This is three points. On our both are still ten points clear. So. We need to take confidence from us going into the next few games. Straight from the very uh, kick-off, the, straight from the outset, you seemed um, you seemed to set a tempo that never dipped for the whole 90. Yeah, I think obviously an important game it was, but we were fired from the start all week in training and we've been fired up for it. But I think we need to show that application and attitude like every game, because obviously every game in this league is difficult. You know the way teams are going to play against us, we're a big scalp for teams in this league, so if we can put performances like that, we'll be close. We well, spoke about the importance of playing for the full 90 and certainly uh, I was hanging back for interviews after the Montrose game and I've seen some players look just broken by the fact that I think they'd let themselves down as much as anything else but we've seen that 90 minutes today. Is, is, is this a marker today? Well, we hope so, but as I say, we kind of rest on with laurels, you know. There's a, a lot of season left and as I say, it's only three points but obviously we'll have clawed back three points, obviously the gap's still ten points but that must give a confidence and as I say, it's still a big game next week, derby next week, so... We need to go and play the same attitude, same performance and hopefully come away on three points. Clean sheet uh, for the back four at the back there, that's job done really isn't it? Uh, of course obviously that's me, Davo, Mazza, Gills and Robbie, that's, that's what we've obviously not kept enough this season, obviously Gaffer's told about that, um, but probably had this place to come in the league and we've kept the clean sheet so we know we can do it, but I think obviously it's not just the defence, I think today like the whole 11 on the pitch, I've seen Flanny and Dan they were clearing balls at the edge of the box, so I think if we can keep that, getting them back into our games throughout the team, I think we've got a, a good chance. Certainly it was a physical game today, wasn't it? Yeah, we knew that when we came here. They've got a lot of strong players. Um, they've been putting the confidence they're winning games. So, as I say, it's a massive three points, but as I say, every game, it's only three points, so can't get too carried away and we've still a long way to go. What about your own performance? Um, certainly talking to the Rovers fans leaving the stadium, um, many of them were just keen to speak about yourself, felt as though they were feeling it was your best game for quite some time. How was it for you? Uh, they've probably waited for that since my, I broke my leg. Um, as I say, it's, it is difficult. Um, I came back from an injury and that, but as I say, I've found my feet again. Also, I've probably not played as good as what I can. Um, but I'm hoping maybe that gives confidence and keep going. As I say, I'm give 100% of my time on the pitch. So even if I'm playing a bad game, a good game, that's one thing I'll give us 100%. So hoping that can kick us on and thanks, obviously, as I was speaking after the game. I know the kind of cliche that managers say is to leave it all out in the pitch. I was looking at you in the last kind of two or three minutes there and thinking, will they make it off the pitch? You just seem to leave nothing out there. Yeah, of course, I, but as I say, I'll speak for the rest of the boys. I think every single one of them in that Rafe Overstrip today proved that we can do it. As I say, it's been, there's been a couple of disappointing results. But I feel on the balance of play throughout all the game season, there's been times in games where I've actually done, done really well, but it's not been enough in the game. It's maybe been 45, maybe 60, it's just not a full 90, but I felt today it was a full package. I think we battled, we played football at times. As you can see, as we're seeing the change, room, I think I've ever been involved in a game where the fans are saying, oh, F for my own team. So that was like... What about the? I was asking John uh, McGlynn there about the, the backing of the support. I was sat just off to the right-hand side of them doing the commentary, and, um, and it was his positive and louder support as I can remember in quite some time. What's it like to play with that support behind you? Yeah, of course, it gives confidence. That's, that's, we're, we thank them every single week for coming out. Obviously, we know it's difficult. It's been Christmas and that, but it was a massive game today and I think they've seen that. I think they knew that and they backed all the way. Obviously, getting a couple of goals and obviously keeping the boards well as we did the second half at times, I think it gives me confidence. And as I say, and I thank them for their support. And But as I say, it's been like that since I've been here for the last... I think it's my fourth year now, so... It's, it's never changed, but I hope as I speak for the rest of the boys and hope we keep turning out and obviously we'll give us a big push going to the last five months. John made an interesting comment off uh, off the camera, I think, where um, he was saying that this is a ground where there's segregation in place, so the Rovers fans don't move around the stadium and, and kind of separate, they're all clutched together. Is that something that, that uh, they should maybe think about in terms of coming to these wee tight grounds where actually sticking together en masse and actually making a bit more noise? Yeah, definitely. I think that's... The more noise the better, especially in games like this. I think I heard there was 1,800 fans here, so that just tells you for a League One game, for a top table class, you'll show you how much the fans and both teams have came out and supported their teams. I'm not sure how many Race Wars fans, but you can hear them by the mid one hell of a noise, so I really appreciate it. And as I said, I'll go back to it, it's only three points, but as a whole club, we hope we can obviously go where we want to be next year, so 
keep back and win. Hopefully we can do it. Your own name's kind of turned up various chat boards in terms of the January transfer window and things that might happen, might not happen. You still enjoying your time at Wraith Rose? Yeah, of course I'm enjoying my time. Obviously, they gave us a chance when I came here. Obviously, when I left Dundee, uh, Ray gave us a chance when he came here. Um, I'm fully concentrated on Wraith Rose. That's one thing I can promise you. I'm fully concentrated. I'm wanting to get this team promoted. So, until that happens, then I'll be here. I guess my final point really is just to hand uh, the microphone over to yourself, club captain. Lovely wee moment when I seen you handing the, the armband over to a, a tiny wee supporter who stayed back to just give you that final wee bit of encouragement. What would you want to say to Wraith Rovers fans at this time of year? I just thank you all, so we know it's difficult this time of year. Spending all your money on Christmas presents, it's no easy coming here, but I think all the boys seen the back in the gave were. I'd just like to thank them again and hopefully we can push on for the rest of the season and give them something to cheer about in the year. On behalf of all the Wraith Rovers fans, I've got the pleasure of saying Merry Christmas to yourself and the squad. Cheers, Captain. Thank you. Thanks very much.